Before the bell, U.S. indices declining on Friday, pressured by shares in the capital goods, real estate, and household and personal product sectors. First quarter GDP falling 0.7% from 0.2% previously, and decliners, they beat out advancers. As 82% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded lower on Friday. Now, after the market closed, Intel announcing, well, rumored to be close to a deal to acquire Altera. This according to reports from Bloomberg, citing people with knowledge of the matter. Moving on, Umana exploring a sale, this after being approached by Cigna about a potential deal. This reported by Bloomberg, citing a person also with knowledge of the matter. And GE, General Electric, launching the sales process for an approximately $40 billion portion of its U.S. commercial lending assets. This reported by Reuters, also citing sources familiar with the situation. Now switching attention overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei up 0.03%, the Hang Seng up 0.63%, while South Korea's coast speed down just under 0.6%. European markets, they are flat and U.S. futures are calling for a positive open. Earnings releases expected for today. PVH Corporation first quarter EPS seen at $1.38 on sales of approximately $1.9 billion. While on the economic front, 8.30 in the morning, we have personal income and personal spending for the month of April. And we also have real personal spending at 8.30 in the morning as well. At 10 o'clock, we have April construction spending month over month and May ISM manufacturing figures. Now regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central says the S&P 500 sees its key resistance at 2123. The contract has struck against the resistance threshold at 2123 and short positions are favored below 2123 with targets at 2095 and 2079 in extension. The Nasdaq meanwhile seeing a consolidation preferring short positions below 4551 and the Dow Jones seeing a consolidation as well preferring short positions below 18,170.